Good evening, Guardians. It's that time again. You can see Zur is in the tower. We've got the Mark of the Nine and the flowers, and I see a bunch of people in the menu over here by the speaker, so let's go have a look and see if he's over there. Either there's a whole lot of people that have new monarchy, or Zur is over on the balcony. So let's go and have a look. And Zur is over on the balcony, so quite easy to find there and let's see what he's brought with him today today he has the heavy weapon legacy engram so if you want that year one galahorn or something like that then you can get that now the legacy engram decrypts at a maximum of 170 light so it's year one only not worth getting unless you're trying to get something for the collection insurmountable skull fort for the titans at a 96 roll, sorry, had a very minor meltdown in my brain there. 96 roll down from 111, so not very good for a 12 tier uh, roll, but improved transfusion gives you Storm Fist immediately, uh, trig it immediately triggers health regen, plus you get full melee energy on respawn and you have a second melee. Kind of handy if you like to melee things, it's an intellect strength roll. Now we've got Hands On, which gives you bonus super energy from melee kills, which obviously Insurmountable Skull 4 is a melee oriented uh, exotic item, so you're always going to have a melee oriented uh, super, sorry, a melee oriented perk. Both of these are going to be, um, well, there you go. Uh, we've got Special Weapons, second, second Thoughts, but only on Minions of the Darkness. This one will always be melee oriented at the top here. Invigoration gives you bonus melee energy on Orb Pickups. The Shinobu's Vow for Hunters is not too bad at an, uh, an 87 roll. Actually, that's not that's actually not great. But uh, Twist Fate down here can fix that for you. New Tricks gives you improved skip grenades, and you get you get an additional skip grenade charge. We've got Intellect Discipline roll. Fastball increases grenade throw distance, and because it's a grenade-oriented exotic again, uh, we will always have grenade-oriented perks here in this middle tree. We've also got Momentum Transfer, which gains bonus melee energy on grenade hits. Auto Rifle Loader and Machine Gun Loader, not so great. 87 down from 99, so not so great for... Uh, the 12 tier roll and then we've got a 93 roll on the nothing manacles for the warlock class which has this scatter charge which enables tracking for scatter grenades and also gives you an additional scatter grenade these are really handy if you love uh, running those void walkers if you don't have them i'd recommend picking them up likewise i'd recommend picking up shinobu's vow for the hunters if you haven't got those either uh, you can always improve the perks by twisting fate with that node down the bottom there Increased Intellect and Discipline. It's an Intellect Discipline roll. We've got Energy Projection increases Grenade Throw Distance. Again, it's a, a grenade-oriented exotic, so it's always going to have grenade-oriented perks in this middle tree. Impact Induction gives you bonus grenade energy on melee hits, and we've got Auto Rifle and Fusion Rifle Loader. The exotic weapon for the week is Suros Regime, which for some reason I've had about four or five of them drop for me this week. Uh, spinning up or focused fire, I've seen this being run in the Crucible this week and it's actually been carving up, especially with that auto rifle buff that it got at the beginning of Age of Triumph. Suros Legacy gives you um, the ability to, well, has a chance to return a bit of health on a kill from the bottom half of the magazine, which also deals a bonus damage. You've also got Hammer Forged or Lightweight and these funky... Red Memorial or Basilisk's Glory ornaments. I quite like Basilisk's Glory. The weapon bundles this week, we've got Dragon's Breath and Tiger Shark, or we also have Zalo and Shock Hazard. Nothing special there, although Tiger Shark isn't too bad on that Dragon's Breath. The Kurios this week, Plasma Drive or Emerald Coil give you these blue and green uh, booster trails behind your upgraded Sparrow, respectively. Heavy ammo since one strange coin for three heavy ammo or three strange coins for ten heavy ammo. This is the best way to rank up your Guardian. If you don't have a 400 Guardian, get as many strange coins. See this guy pick up as many of this particular package. Ten heavy ammo since for three strange coins. It's the best economy you can buy. This is 
uh, the way you do it, you go and you take those heavy ammo synths and you then hand them in as donations at your faction, Dead Orbit, New Monarchy, Future War Cult. And when you do that, if you've got the t class 25 rank, uh, the rank 25 class item for that faction, then equip that while you're handing in the donations, you'll get a 10% rep boost. And then make sure you've got your highest light on when you pick up the faction package. That will get you up to 400 light. 400. The faction packages now drop as high as 400. Alternatively, you can use three of coins to farm for exotic engrams, iron tomb or crucible, the best ways to do that. Uh, iron tomb, you pop a three of coins, you kill one boss, you pop another three of coins, you kill the next boss, you wipe and then re rinse and repeat that. You can get 10 or 12 exotic engrams drop in the space of about an hour doing that which is pretty good going uh, and obviously when you hand those in make sure you hand in your lowest light level item uh, and then equip or upgrade infuse that item and then rinse and repeat keep doing that until you get yourself to 400 if you're looking for artifacts class items or ghosts while they do drop from uh Faction packages, Archon's Forge is probably a best bet there. Glass Needles, as I said before, um, three strange coins, three motes of light, and an exotic shard can improve or change using this Twist Fate node. These stats up here to get better stats and these perks. Now, bear in mind, like I said, if it's a, a grenade-oriented exotic, you will never get strength. Oh, uh, sorry, you'll never, no, you'll never not have discipline. You'll always have discipline because it is grenade oriented. Discipline is the grenade uh, ability. And then you'll always have grenade oriented perks. If it's a melee ability, you will always have strength uh, because strength is the gr melee uh, ability parameter, if you like. And then likewise, if it's a super oriented exotic, then you'll always have intellect. Okay, so you're never going to get a discipline, uh, an intellect discipline role on a grenade oriented, sorry, a melee oriented item like insurmountable skull fort. You can never have intellect discipline on insurmountable skull fort. The material exchange this week, or where every week, is two strange coins for one mode of light and seven strange coins for an exotic shard. There are better ways to get those, like farming off the wall. You can get uh, an exotic shard. You can get two for the price of one by grabbing a heavy weapon, upgrading it with six to eight motes of light, and then dis dismantling it for two exotic shards. But if you need one for whatever purpose, you can pick them up here from Zer. Do make sure you get these. It is the best way to rank up. That's what he's got this week. He's on the balcony by the speaker. The Heavy Weapon Legacy Engram. Insurmountable Skull Fort for the Titans. Shinobu's Vow for the Hunters. Nothing Manacles for the Warlocks and Suros Regime. Nothing there in terms of Tier 12, but I would recommend picking up these Shinobu's Vow and Nothing Manacles if you don't have them. You can always re-roll it. That's it this week. I hope you got something out of this video, Guardians. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You can catch me on Twitter, on Twitch, and on tw uh, Instagram, BoilerRoom81, up in the top right-hand corner there. Thanks for watching, Guardians. I'll see you next time.